Mic check, mic check. Hey, yo, I purposely did not watch the AMAs yesterday just so I can make this video. Roll it. Now, before we get started, I did not watch the AMAs yesterday, but I did keep up with the awards and know what happened in terms of like nominees and winners. And yo, let me just tell you, son, I was not prepared for BTS to sweep. The first two awards, I was like, OK, I can see those two. But when we got to Artists of the Year, I was not expecting them to win. And that's no hate to BTS. This is an American award show. And everybody else that was nominees, they are at the very top, the pinnacle, the S tier of what it is to be a successful artist. Drake, The Weeknd, Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, and Ariana Grande. These names are not just worldwide staples, but they are at the very top of the top of the top in terms of who is successful, who is popular in the United States. I thought for sure it was a wrap. There was no way that they are going to win this. They won the first two, and those were the only two they were going to win, specifically because Drake, Ariana Grande, and The Weeknd are like, they're the biggest artists in the United States right now. Taylor Swift is redoing all of her old music right now and re-putting it out, and people are reliving all over again what they fell in love with when Taylor Swift first popped on the scene. And then here they come and win artists of the year at the amas and to me bro that is just crazy and the reason that they want it is because army is as is as passionate and die hard as they are it's crazy bro i tweeted out yesterday i was like yo bts just won artists of the year over all of our most important artists in the united states right now in terms of pop i was like whether you like it or not famo bts and k-pop they're here to stay. Yo, it, I was excited. I'm not diehard like ARMY. Like, you know, I listen to every single thing. I watch every interview. I follow the fan pages. But I am a fan of like BTS and what they do. And what, and I understand and appreciate the success that they have. So, yo, I was like super surprised. And I was, I was almost to the point where I was proud. I'm not anywhere near as diehard as some of y'all out there. But I was like, yo, this is, this is dope. This is fire, son. Like I said, I didn't think it was going to happen. Caught me by surprise, but that does not mean that does not mean that they don't deserve it because they most definitely do. But let's get into this reaction. Like I said, I completely avoided the award show yesterday just so I can make this video. Um, Butter is probably my favorite English single. Like I said uh, again at the beginning of this video, it's, it's the one that has the most groovy bounce. It's the one that I vibe to the most. So I'm super excited. I'm actually glad that Megan The Stallion uh, had to drop out last minute from the performance because I wanted to just see them. But there's really nothing else to say. Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter. Hit up the Twitch. That is most important right now. We do most of our reactions live over on Twitch. This one is not done live, but most BTS and K-pop and reactions in general, most of them are going to come from live stream. Also hit up the Patreon, which is the first link in the description. Twitch is second. I do this full time on YouTube because of the people who are able to support on Patreon and Twitch. So if y'all guys want to watch early access things, if y'all guys want exclusive reactions that will not make YouTube, consider joining over on Patreon. It helps me pay the bills and keep me in front of the camera for y'all guys. But other than that, there's really nothing else to say. I'm super excited. Well, let's get it. I don't know how clear this video is going to be, by the way, guys. <laughs> Yo, that's tight. The way that they framed them up with their hands. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Dope, bro. I haven't heard this song in mad long. It doesn't like come up in my shuffle enough whenever I'm listening to music, either in the car or at the gym or wherever. Yo, this song is a bop, son. By the way, if the audio on the video is low, that's not my fault. That's whoever uploaded this video. They didn't upload the audio as loud as they could. But yo, you know what I'm thinking of? The reason why I'm smiling and laughing is like, I wonder how many people out there, how many people in the crowd, how many people watching this live, 
How many people think that they're lip syncing this? It's expected at award shows because award shows need to go as smooth as they can, but they don't they don't lip sync ever. And it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like they're live. I, I wonder how many people who don't know BTS that don't know that about them think that this is it's just funny to me to think that people are out there thinking that they're lip syncing. <laughs> Hard. Fire, bro. All right. What the hell is in their back pockets? Why do they look like that? Looks like they got napkins coming out of their back pockets. I don't know what it is about their choreography, too. Anybody that knows me and you know you've been on the channel a minute, I've watched BTS, I watch K-pop. Like, the choreography is, like, what's one of the things that's most impressive to me. And it just looks so smooth, you know? Like, the slow motion aspect of the choreography right here. It's crazy. <laughs> RM's face right there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's crazy how many people are vibing. Bro, this is hard. I'm pausing it really just to say what the hell is this haircut over here on the left? The fuck? Get it? Let it go. Hey, solo, trio, everybody. Damn, and then they put ARMY up there, bro. They put ARMY on the stage. Y'all motherfuckers went crazy when y'all saw this for sure. Bro, ARM's voice, like the depth, like the like how deep it is, is perfect for his style of rap. His style of rap is like, it, so it sounds more, and it might be because of his voice that I think it's more aggressive, but the rap that I have heard from him, whether it be BTS or prior solo work or even just his solo work in BTS, his voice is so dope for rapping. Hey. 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 You be like, oh my God. We gonna make you rock and he said, hey. We gonna make you bounce and he said, hey. How do we cheat it? That mic is. Damn, son. Thank you. Thank you, Arby. This was tight. Oh my God, bro. Holy shit. Their live performances, son. They never let down. I feel like once you hear this performed like live, like once you watch them live, if you're skeptical of K-pop or BTS or like you don't know like why they are the who they, the global force that they are, all you have to do is just watch one live performance. Watch one live performance and it's clear. This was everything that I expected it to be. Also, can we talk about the fact this was the last performance of the night? You know how like track and when, when you run track and you're running a relay, you have, you have the first person who sets the tempo, the second and third person make sure that they don't lose any speed. And then the fourth person, which is the anchor, they grab the baton 
and they're the ones that are ending the entire relay. So they are generally the strongest. They are generally the strongest sprinters and runners. And that goes in that goes for music too. Like whenever you go to a concert, the artist isn't playing their most popular song first or even in the middle they save it for last and some artists even save it for the encore so the fact that bts the fact that they performed early with coldplay but the fact that they were the last performance of the night that's so fire bro like i don't think people realize how significant that is for them at an american awards show crazy night to for bts Crazy night to be part of ARMY. Crazy night to be someone like me who was kind of just getting into K-pop and understanding like their influence and culture and all of that. So fired to be able to see like, yo, these dudes are the real deal. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, consider liking, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. All these things help the algorithm. Obviously, the amount of subscriptions, but comments and, and likes on this video do help push this individual video out to other fans or other people that want to see reactions to this performance. So if you do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, like I said, follow on Twitch if you want to see live reactions, specifically K-pop. We do do a lot of live reactions over on Twitch, and some won't even make the channel. They're going to be specific to patreon so follow twitch if you want to catch them live and if you miss them and you want to catch them after the fact follow patreon and subscribe on patreon because they, it definitely is the only place where you're going to get exclusive reactions that are either from twitch or i recorded separately and they're just they're for patreon only so if y'all want to support the channel twitch and patreon first link and second link in the description but other than that i appreciate everybody's time like i always say at the end go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody in the next video boom Peace.